This is ATG Grid News. I am Catherine Llewellyn. Our top stories. PBR comes to Firestorm. Caddy Feedback takes over the grid. Second Life Viewer Update. Hello and welcome to Season 5 of ATG Grid News. Exciting news for Second Life enthusiasts. Firestorm, one of the most popular third-party viewers, is set to embrace physically-based rendering, PBR, in its upcoming release. Beck Janis, a new project manager for Firestorm, recently shared an update on PBR status, signaling a step closer to integration. In a recent alpha release labeled 7.1.2.72848, available through Phoenix Firestorm Preview Group, Creators facing challenges due to broken rig local mesh will find a fix. Beck Janice expects optimism about moving into the beta phase once Linden Lab releases their key maintenance updates. This transition signifies that the subsequent Firestorm release will prominently feature PBR, although no specific date has been confirmed. While PBR is stable for many users, Beck acknowledges ongoing concerns such as rendering issues with objects and persistent blurry textures. Additionally, there are worries about increased RAM requirements for smoother experience. Beck suggests 16 gigabytes of RAM might be a minimum requirement, potentially impacting those with lower configurations. Beck Janus emphasizes the need to gather relevant data and explore ways to support users affected by potential hardware limitations. It is suggested that users aiming for a satisfactory experience without significant setting adjustments should consider having at least 16 megabytes of RAM. For those eager to be part of Firestorm's update and testing, joining the NWorld group provides early access to the latest developments. The news, however, raises concerns about the growing demands on hardware and highlights the ongoing reliance on unpaid volunteer efforts to drive Second Life's evolution. Linden Lab is set to replace Jira as the bug reporting and feature request filling tool for Second Life due to the changes in Altazan's licensing model, making it financially unavailable. The new approach involves direct bug reports through GitHub and general feedback and feature requests via Canny. Work is underway to migrate existing Lyra tickets to GitHub with the switch to Canny and GitHub anticipated soon. While Canny has faced criticism for limitations, Linden Lab notes its advantage in allowing users to log in with Second Life credentials, unlike GitHub, which requires separate accounts. An official blog post on the transition is expected shortly. On Monday, January 8, 2024, Linden Lab promoted GLTF PBR Materials Maintenance RC Viewer, version 7.1.2.7215-179-142. To de facto release status. This version brings significant bug fixes, including improvements to haze fog affecting point lights. Additionally, the Maintenance WRC viewer received an update to version 7.1.3.745.354.129.5 on January 9, 2024, featuring bug and crash fixes. Other official viewers in the pipeline include Maintenance XRC. Version 7.1.1-70884-410-646 for usability improvements. Maintenance Y, version 6.6.17.693564-2049 for outfit folder enhancements and landmark history management. And Emoji RC Viewer, version 6.615.581-551. Introduced on August 31st, the Puppetry Project Viewer version 6.6125958 from May 11th is still also part of the ongoing project viewers. Second Life Grid has updated with the latest numbers, showing that total regions had a net growth despite Parvid Estates' net loss of 258 estates. Linden-owned regions showed a big increase in growth, through 2023 due to the Bellis area content newest Linden home themes. January 7, 2024, total regions were 27,746, private estates 18,112, Linden owned 9,634, and total area 
1818.36 kilometers. Last year, on January 1st, 2023, total regions were 27,659, private estates 18,370, linen owned 9,289, and the total area 1812.66 kilometers. Thank you for watching ATG Grid News. Enjoy the grid.